Hey, happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I got a big update for you. Remember, it's not just one storm, it is two, and they are both powerful. Bring us chances for tornadoes, damage and winds, even large hail, and we're talking four or five days of severe weather. You can see we still have that first one coming through, bringing us two big days of severe weather. Right behind it, we still got this parade. It's going to sit there all the way till it gets pushed out by a bigger storm system coming right behind that one. That one is going to push our severe weather from Thursday into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even potentially Monday and a little bit further. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you who's at risk, which states need to be aware of these storm systems coming because it's bringing a lot of big impacts. Now remember, if you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click that bell. That way you get updates. You can see right here, YouTube is doing some new things to what's going on with the platform to see what people like, what people don't like. So remember, hit that like button. It's either down below or it's over on the side. It all depends. A lot of people's computers are different right now because of these updates. But you must make sure you hit the subscribe button. You must make sure you hit that like button to help get this out to other people. And you must share the video. And that's the hard part is they're having hard times trying to find these areas because of the changes. So let's just deal with it until they get it done what it is they're trying to do. Make sure you look on the side of the video if it's not below it and just scroll down a little bit you'll see the like area you see the share area and you'll see the comment section now let's get into your video so you can see the difference when you look at these storm cells as you go into thursday you start getting these storms start forming up across the south central it does spread into friday also one thing that's going to happen is thursday is overnight thursday into friday then it grows all through friday this is bringing chances for damage and winds and hail on the northern side on the southern side is bringing chances for tornadoes i will show you then as you go all the way to friday look at all these storm cells coming through bringing chances for damage and winds chances for tornadoes and hail also for saturday look as you go into saturday it starts moving a little bit further to the east but then you get that second storm system coming in while that goes up on the high ridge and you get Saturday storms start moving in also overnight. Also for Sunday, start moving in. Also going a little bit further north as you go into Monday, bring in more chances for tornadoes, damage and winds and hail and maybe even a little bit further we are in a set pattern right now you can see this big high pressure upper level high right here swinging around this is swinging everything in this direction on that high ridge for quite some time now i want you to take a look at this, this is from national weather service for thursday we still have the chance for 15 percent severe weather this is going to be chances for tornadoes also guys now look at this college state university don't show anything for that because it is going to be overnight into friday but sips sees it as well now as you go into friday you can see how it has grown just like i told you in the last video this is going to grow into friday saturday sunday it's going to keep on growing so now you got this big risk i did post this on my community tab while i was on sabbath but look right here on college state university showing some growth going you can see it here for sips as well now look on saturday they don't have anything for saturday this yet but look at college state university showing more growth matter of fact showing that it will be a moderate section for severe weather for eastern oklahoma southern missouri and arkansas you can see this on sips as well they're showing some intensity going on as you go through saturday even a couple areas that might be more upgraded. And it's not over there. Look at Sunday. Still nothing yet by National Weather Service. But College State University is also showing we have another big day for Sunday. And you can see this for SIPs as well. And that big high pressure blocking everything is going to keep everything bubbling in the South Central and the Central Plains for multiple days so as this first system comes in you see it's going to come in for thursday as it pulls in for thursday as your lower level winds you see thursday evening there's not a lot of strong winds until around 10 o'clock at night once you get late night overnight you can see it's really a nocturnal storm and now you have some strong lower level winds for oklahoma for kansas for southern nebraska even for western iowa this is going to help shear up these storms and bring different wind direction change of height. This is going to intensify your chances for tornadoes. And you can see as that goes up on that higher ridge towards the upper Midwest, towards the west side of the Great Lakes, you see the wind profile is not as strong. So your tornado chances are going to lower down, but this is still going to bring chances for damage and winds 
and large hail with that as well. Then as you go overnight into Saturday, another nocturnal. Saturday overnight, now you bring in strong winds again. This is going to intensify your chances for tornadoes as you go overnight Friday into Saturday where you see all of this brown section from Illinois and west. Iowa, Missouri, eastern Kansas, eastern Oklahoma, Arkansas, even northeastern Texas. This whole region is shearing these cells, bringing you chances for tornadoes with that. Then as you go into Saturday evening, that goes up on that higher ridge. More storms push off towards the intercoastal northeast. Then you have that other storm system coming in for Sunday. And this is where it just bubbles right here on the south central for Sunday overnight into Monday. Still sitting there for Monday afternoon. And then it goes up on a higher ridge as you go into Monday. Start bringing more of a wind profile with it. Increasing your chances for tornadoes on that second system as well. As it goes up on Tuesday, this is going to bring multiple days of severe weather and it's going to bring chances for tornadoes for the South Central, the Central Plains, and that second system is going to bring chances for tornadoes to start climbing up a little bit towards the Corn Belt, a little bit towards Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois, and maybe some of Southern Minnesota as we get that storm system. We have a lot of nasty storms coming through why are you getting that wind profile? Now, this is what's really concerning, not just all the information I just showed you. When you look at GFS to see what the trend is, you don't just look at one weather model when you try and do a forecast. You want to see what's trending. You can see what your lower level winds as you go Thursday overnight into Friday. It's a green on that, but it's also a green that's going to get some wind profiles for the south central as you go Thursday into Friday. Chances for tornadoes, but look how it pushes through for Friday evening. A little bit further towards the east, still keeping the winds, keeping your chances for the tornadoes from Missouri and Illinois. And as you go into Saturday, look how it climbs further over towards Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes. This will bring chances for tornadoes as well for Indiana, Ohio, and northern Kentucky. And it's still too far to know which weather model is correct. So we got to get a little bit closer to get more accuracy, but it's showing multiple threats more than just one weather model. Then as you go through Sunday, you get that next storm system building up, bring a lot of strong wind profile with that as well, all the way to Sunday evening, bringing in chances for tornadoes all the way from the south central all the way towards Minnesota. As that climbs up, look, you have two areas of vorticity right there. And as you go into Monday, it climbs further to the north. I'm showing we're going to have severe weather all the way from Thursday all the way to Sunday and Monday. Now, right now, we still got the chance for the high winds. This is your slight risk in the light brown, your moderate level risk in the dark brown. Still showing those are coming by at 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts, and it is trending on all the weather models from GFS to Canadian to Euro. This is a deterministic, this is an ensemble control member showing it will bring 50 and maybe a little bit of 60 in the higher elevations of Colorado. This is downgraded some. This was in the higher 50s to the 60s. Now it's showing high 40s to 50s as that comes through. I think the biggest threat, not only just the damage and winds, the biggest threat is going to be chances for large hail and places for tornadoes and still showing you got the biggest flood risk you have the slight risk in the light green and in the dark green is your moderate level risk where the heaviest precipitation is going to be and as we get that big storm that second system they are bringing the highest winds will be around the 27th for new mexico southern colorado western kansas oklahoma and western texas and your heaviest precipitation will be from the 27th through the 28th on the east side of that system expecting flooding for northeastern texas northwestern louisiana and southwestern arkansas at that time and euro is still showing it. it is going to pick up in the south but it's going to be heavier for the north central and the upper midwest going up on a higher ridge bringing everything in this region this is going to be a northern storm with chances for large hail damage and winds chances for tornadoes even bringing large hail and chances for tornadoes on the southern side it will be a powerful few days and you can see your lightning strikes as you go into thursday you start to get some chances for large hail Right there for the South Central, for Kansas, Oklahoma. That white is indicative to a lot of lightning strikes. Chances for large hail as you go through the morning. Then as you go through the evening, look how it catches right back up on the North Central and the Central Plains. Chances for large hail for Friday morning. A lot of these are going to be overnight. 
Friday morning, also from Missouri. And as it picks up for 10 o'clock, look at it right back in the south central. Oklahoma and Texas, chances for large hail. This is only for Friday morning as that system goes up on that high ridge, bringing chances for tornadoes as well, large hail and damage and winds. Then Friday evening it goes up, then here goes Saturday, right into another storm cell. As it's going up on that ridge, pushing to the east, bringing chances for large hail, a lot of lightning strikes coming with that system for Saturday, also for the south central. And as that pushes to the east, you got more chances coming for Sunday as you get that next system. Bring you chances for large hail in multiple areas. This is going to be a multi-day severe weather event of tornadoes, large hail, and damage and winds. Matter of fact, you can see the latest update with Weather Prediction Center meteorologist Hamrick has posted this. That as you go Thursday into Friday, that's where you're going to get that first storm system that's going up on that high ridge. Then as you go into Saturday, you can see it going up on that high ridge. Here it goes Sunday, that second system coming. I'm telling you, it is a parade of storms coming through. It's not just one, it's multiple. So, so far, here's what the Euro model is suggesting. As you go through Thursday afternoon, starts building up your lower level winds. You start getting your storms. You still have the convection. You still have the dew points, everything to the north, like I showed you in the last video. You even get cyclogenesis, a strengthening low pressure system as you get your storms on the east side. This is bringing chances for hail, also for damage and winds. And as it goes a little bit later in the evening, you can see it also grows up in the south central this is where it's going to bring chances not only for damage and winds and hail also tornadoes is going to get in on it as you go friday into saturday still overnight early in the morning then it congeals up to the north then once you go through saturday evening into sunday here comes that second system bringing chances for large hail in all of these storm cells moving across. And as it goes up on that high ridge, now it's bringing chances for the tornadoes on the south central while you're getting damage and winds and large hail on the north central. Then as you go all the way until late on Monday, look at this, storm system still building and still going to the north. This is going to be multi-days. It's not just going to be one storm system coming through, everybody. This is multiple storms coming through, bringing the same threats. Large hail, damage and winds, and chances for tornadoes. Now remember, YouTube is doing a few different layouts to see what people like and don't like. So I know it's a little bit different. I know it's a little bit harder to find that like button, find that share button. Please support my channel and look for it. It is on the bottom or on the side of the video. I am so sorry we're going through this. YouTube's just trying to make things better. Thank you for your time, everybody. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I will do another update for tomorrow's video as we get a little bit closer and get better information. Then I'll start doing afternoon updates. That way we know what the latest information is. I appreciate every single one of y'all and I hope you have a very happy and a very blessed Sunday. First John chapter 3. 1 and 2. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it doeth not yet appear what we shall be. But we knoweth that when he shall appear, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. Amen. Thank you for your time, everybody. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Help me alert people. Let them know what is coming. It's more just one storm. Remember, it's a parade of storms. Multiple big storms are coming. Bigger and bigger. Bringing chances for tornadoes as well. It's not just going to be damaging winds and large hail. This is going to be a few days of severe weather non-stop. I appreciate every single one of y'all. I know it's a struggle with what YouTube is doing right now. It's affecting a lot of places, a lot of people. But this also should help you on your other YouTubers that you do like, where the like button is, where the share button is, just to help get things back in order. Help the community, help people that try to help people as much as they can. There's never any discretion amongst others. They shouldn't be. We should all be helping each other. And remember, all glory always goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh, and I always hope he keeps you safe, you and your family, every single day of your life, and your neighbors, <laughs> and forever. <laughs> Amen! <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great day, everybody.